Oh my god, so much backlash, so much comments, so much rant videos for Goku versus Superman. Match number two, fight number two, we got God Mode Goku. We also have Superman. He doesn't ever use his new power. Uh, I'm going to let you guys go know right now. You know, I know how you guys are feeling. I know you guys are disappointed. Honestly, I do not know why Screw Attack Death Battle would do this again. I know Goku has... I, I would have thought they waited out, you know, to see what the fuck's going on with Superman and the new 52 and also Goku. You know, we got a new Dragon Ball Z series, so I would have thought they would have waited out to see what the fuck's going to happen there. But no, no, they pushed it. They definitely pushed it. Listen, guys, you can't take this so seriously. So this isn't a rant video. This is an understanding video of why people are mad and why death battle death battle battle death battle would do this again because it's fucking viewership and they want people to watch and you know i enjoy death battle i really do i mean if you don't take it so seriously i think you will really enjoy it now i'm gonna let you guys know you guys are probably thinking oh you're a superman fan this and that. i fucking hate superman i absolutely hate superman my favorite character is batman uh but i understand why people like superman i honestly i Sometimes I argue against Superman, you know, just because I feel like it, you know. it's uh, I do like Henry Cavill's portrayal as Superman, however, Clark Kent, you know. There is a... I mean, Superman has been here. He's so iconic. And so is Goku. Goku has his own fucking day. These two, I mean, since I've been a kid, like, who would win out of Superman versus Goku? And without any doing any research, without, you know, all that bullshit, just, a, you know, kicking it talking you know back and forth i always said goku i always believed goku would win just because all just because first of all goku is a better character but i always thought he would win because the power-ups that he had the fucking uh superman really has to rely on the sun you know and then it, superman doesn't necessarily kill he has shown to kill in the past but goku but you also got to I think the real question is, why is it Goku? Why isn't it not Superman versus Barris? Because Goku has struggled against Barris. Barris is a badass. He's a beast. He beat Goku. He beat Goku in Battle of the Gods. So why isn't Barris fighting Superman? Because Goku is the name. But I still always thought Goku was stronger. I thought he had unbelievable power. But, you know, over the years, it, it, it's it's not whether, you know, getting gaining facts from both... Uh, Dragon Ball Z and the Superman comics. I mean, these are two totally different content. Everybody puts this out there. Oh, well, how the fuck does Superman beat Goku when he's struggling with Batman? And then people put this out there as well. Well, you know, Superman is, he's not even, if he wanted to, he could kill Batman like nothing. He is, like, he doesn't want to hurt Bruce. He doesn't want to hurt Batman. But the real answer to all these questions and to this, like, fucking hatred towards this particular battle, you're never going to get a clear-cut winner. Because overall, the win the reason why Superman wins these battles and the reason why a lot of times, you know, people will uh, want Goku to win these battles, it all depends on the writing, the writing, not the... I mean, you have all their abilities, this and that, but if a writer came in and changed it up and said, Goku is just as strong, just as powerful as Superman, and he has the upper edge, if somebody came into Death Battle and said that, said, okay, this is why Goku could win, I'm going to write this, 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 Goku wins this battle. It's not the fucking facts. It's not all that shit that's going around. It's That's very important, don't get me wrong, the writers are what determines who wins and who loses. That's why when I say Batman versus Superman and Batman wins a lot of those exchanges, no, the writers have him win all those exchanges. You know what I'm saying? So this bat this fight overall is just stupid. It's really stupid. It's just really there for our entertainment. I thought the first fight was very entertaining. I thought, you know, the the 
uh, just the, the you know death battle having the voice actors and the effects. I thought it was really great. Very long, very. The story was uh, not too bad. You know, there's questionable things within it, but I was very, very entertained. If you haven't seen Solid Snake and Splinter Cell, that's awesome too. So, the second battle, though, I will say it is. It seems like a little bit of slap to the face of the fans. I mean, you give us this first fight, and basically, it's epic. There's a storytelling going on. It's a you know back and forth battle. There's tension. This fight felt like them trying to say, you guys are fucking stupid. Not, I don't want to say they're They're pretty much saying, Superman's going to win. I don't care how many emails you give us about Goku's God Mode. Let's just make a quick video about Goku getting his ass handed to Superman. Uh, I don't want to start a little rant going on this and that. I love Goku. I think Goku is amazing. I think he's a better overall character than Superman. Like I said, I hate Superman. Um, I think Superman, you got to blame the writers on that. I mean, the writers who created Superman made him so fucking powerful. The first, I think, incarnation of Superman was ridiculous. Over the years, if you look at Bruce Timm's animated series, the Just even the Justice League, you know? He was, he, he, it, 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 they used Superman, uh, um, power, you know, power levels or whatever, whatever they, how they want to use it, you know, when he's interacting with all these other characters. Superman in the animated series was getting his ass handed to him a couple of times. Batman was the more popular character, you know? I do like the anime series for Superman too, though, but that, uh, him and Batman had a great, you know, thing going on there, uh, chemistry. But, you know, it, it just really all... I mean, if Death Battle is looking at pretty much, you know, everything. They're, they're looking at that first... I don't... Well, I don't know if they used the first incarnation, honestly. But, I mean, you, if you're going to blame anybody, you got to blame the writers who created Superman. Because Superman was just overly, ridiculously powerful. Sure, he was a good Samaritan. Sure, he saved the world. Sure, like, Superman was, you know, super... But people didn't gravitate towards Superman because he just wasn't relatable. Where Batman was much relatable. Goku is much relatable because Goku's struggle to get to where he is now. You know, training, this and that. I always think that Goku also has an upper advantage because of all the techniques he knows and his martial arts. But it is what it is. Uh, this fight wasn't as entertaining as the first fight. I thought, you know, this is just, it just really kind of, it, it's really just so rushed. It felt like they didn't really, they just wanted to get this over with, which I did not like. Uh, I'm not going to argue whether I think Goku should have won because in my mind, I always have Goku winning against uh, Superman. Of course, you know, if Goku was fighting him normally, you know, not using this, uh, Saiyan, Super Saiyan or whatever, God Mode. He's getting his ass handed to him. Superman would probably beat him. But uh, if I were to think about him using everything he's got, you got to also factor luck in a fight. You also got to factor uh, surroundings. It just doesn't... You just don't factor fucking power, what kind of strengths he has, what kind of... well, we, it, 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 It's a factor, but there's other... There's so much more that goes into a fight other than just fucking, you know, you could shoot lasers out of your eyes. You could do a Kamehameha. There's so many factors. Also, there's the fucking factor where you get super pissed off, you know, like a Gohan against Cell. Really finding that inner power and boosting it, finding that innerness in himself. So there's so many things. I mean, just watch fighting, watch boxing, watch these great matches. And you could see that, you know, it's also about pretty much how much you could take and how much you can give. And then they always say it only takes one punch to knock your fucking ass out. Batman can have a fucking kryptonite ring and he just that one nice little punch to fucking Superman's jaw or whatever, he's out. But I don't want to shit on Superman because Superman is, a, he's an iconic figure, like I said. People love him for a reason. There has been comics that depict Superman in actually a good light and actually are creative. Um, 
I'm not a fan of him still, though. I just the Henry Cavill, the movie version, I am actually a pretty a fan. Uh, you know, with Goku, I love Goku. Goku's amazing. I uh, followed, uh, if you see my top five, he's not in my top two. I mean, he's not my number one, but he's still up there because Goku is just a beast. He's a monster, you know. And I love the fact that this dude, like, just trains other all these masters to get where he is. So if Death Battle has Superman beating Goku, that's fine. You know, that's 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 writing. That's them. They want to do it. So they're gonna they're gonna always say that, you know, Superman's gonna be Goku. And shit, you know, maybe another side will come along and say that's that's not how I have it, so I'm gonna have Goku beat Superman. And this is a way to do it. Everybody has opinions, everybody has thoughts, everybody has a way of thinking how this fight could go. I would really bring in the fucking factor, like I said, the surroundings, the the luck factor. I mean, there's also magic. Superman is not very, you know, he gets he, he can't handle magic as well. I mean, there's also these other elements and stuff, but you're never going to know. You're never going to, you know, it, it's just too hard. It's too hard to really pit somebody against somebody. Uh, look at that Freddy and Jason movie, you know. Uh, but whatever. Death Battle did fucking, I didn't even, I saw a little, like, the little thumbnails and stuff. I didn't think they were going to go through with it, but they did go through with it, I guess. I would hope they, I was hoping that they'd wait, you know, a, a while until Dragon Ball Z Super, or Dragon Ball Super would be finished. Uh, and then see where the comics take Superman and his character. But if you love Goku, you love Goku. If you love Superman, you love Superman. Uh, and if you just really don't take it too seriously and you just watch the fight. I mean, especially the first one. I think if you watch the first one, you really enjoy it. The second one is just, it's whatever. I do think it's a little bit, you know, half ass in it, honestly. But it is what it is. It is what it is. That's really all my thoughts about Goku versus Superman. Um, I love the fan art, though. I love the fan art with Goku versus Superman. It's a great idea. It's a great fucking... Uh, it's very entertaining to talk about it, to think about it. But when you have, you know, a channel that is just, you know, it, it, it's their views. It's their reasons why somebody would win a fight. It is what it is. If you put a fucking, I mean, this is not like you're drawing a poll of who would win. You know, it's not like that other, I think, uh, Machina? I don't know. Uh, the live adaptation, like, you know, versus that they have, like, you know, fucking White Ranger versus uh, Ryu. It's not that, you know, where people could vote. It's it's what Death, ba uh, Death Battle wants, you know, reasonable facts and this and that. But I wouldn't take it too seriously, guys. Um, I don't want to, I didn't want, I don't want to rant. I really just don't give a rat's ass, honestly. You know, I love Goku. I think Goku's better than Superman. I always think Goku's better than Superman. But I, oh, I will always understand that Superman is an important figure to a lot of people. And I never want to, you know, talk shit about that. I never want to do that. Because I fucking love Batman. You know, I think Batman's fucking awesome. Character-wise, you know, uh, ability-wise. I think his storylines are awesome. So I wouldn't want anybody, you know, to fucking really just go on me. Like, oh, oh, why do you like Batman? This and that, this and that. You know, I'm not going to do that. I mean, people have a right to like what they like, characters that they love, and that's fine. That's fine. You know, if you love Superman and this is your win, that's good for you. I mean, it's all right. You know, uh, shit, I just want to see a you know, good fight. It's like, you know, Bucks, I just want to see a goddamn good fight. Uh, but it is what it is. So everybody has a right to like whoever. Everybody has a right to disagree. And everybody has a right to speak their mind. So... That's my. That's pretty much how I'm going to end it. Thank you guys for listening. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I do have other videos. I have the DBZ Top 5. And please like the video well if, if you like it. <laughs> and comment below and I will answer any of your guys' questions and my thoughts. Uh, any, anything Goku, Superman, whatever. Uh, I don't really follow the New 52. Just a little FYI. I fucking... It's so... The comics are just so confusing and shit. Um, but I'll probably have more. You know, definitely DC likes... Definitely more kind of videos of uh, Superman, Batman, and all this stuff. So, thank you guys for listening. Bye.